हेलो बच्चों सो द क्वेश्चन इज द कर्वेचर रेडिया ऑफ अ कॉन्केव कॉन्वेक्स ग्लास लेंस एट 20 सेंटीमीटर एंड 60 सेंटीमीटर द कन्वेक्स सरफेस ऑफ द लेंस इज सिल्वर्ड विद द विद द लेंस हॉरिजेंटल द कनकेव सरफेस इज फिल्ड विथ वाटर ओके द फोकल लेंथ ऑफ द इफेक्टिव मिरर इज ओके सो लेट से दिस इज द हॉरिजेंटल सरफेस and we are having a let's say this is the concave part and we are having a convex part so basically this part is silvered and we are filling the water into this part okay so the radius so the radius of the curvature is given as 20 cm and 60 cm so for this it would be 60 cm and for this it would be 20 cm you can see clearly by the dimension this is the smaller one and this will be the larger one okay so in order to find the focal length of the effective mirror we will proceed through power we will find the effective power okay so let's say the ray is coming like this okay so it will enter here then here and after reflection it will cover it will move two times in this part and two times in this part so it the effective power will be two times the power of water plus two times the power of we can say that glass okay and this will be the mirror so minus the power of mirror okay so this is the way in which we can write the effective power so we can write it as 1 upon the effective focal length will be equal to 2 upon the focal length in the water section plus 2 upon the focal length in the glass minus 1 upon the focal length of mirror okay and as you know that how to find the focal length okay so 1 upon f is equal to mu minus 1 into 1 upon r1 minus 1 upon r2 okay so for water 1 upon f w will be what the c it is entering from here and then here so for water the refractive index is 4 by 3 minus 1 and 1 upon r1 so r1 will be what uh, this this uh, horizontal plane okay and its radius is what infinity so 1 upon infinity minus 1 upon uh, minus 60 okay and this will come out to be 1 upon 180 and similarly we can do for the glass okay so for the glass the refractive index is 1.5 and minus 1 into 1 upon r1 r1 will be what minus 60 and Minus one upon R two. R two will be what? Minus twenty. Okay. And for this, it will come out to be one upon. And for mirror, we can write it as so. For mirror, uh, focal length is equal to what? The radius of curvature by two. Okay. And the radius of curvature is what? Twenty centimeter by two. It will be negative. Okay. So the it will be ten centimeter. Then. So now putting the value here, we will get. So writing it as one upon f equals to two upon one upon f w is written as one upon one eighty. So we can write it as one eighty plus two upon sixty minus one upon one upon minus ten. Okay, so one upon minus ten. Okay, so This will turn out to be f equals to 90 upon 13 centimeter. So our option A is the correct answer. Thank you.